Good evening, and thank you for tuning in to this edition of 60 Seconds with the Super. I apologize, this one is going to be longer than 60 seconds as well. But I bring greetings on behalf of the Terrell County School Board as they have asked me to make sure that everyone in the district understands how proud they are and thankful they are of the job that you've done this school year, but especially during this intense season since school closure on March the 16th. They want you to understand that they see the hard work that you're doing. They hear about the hard work that you're doing and the great things that we're doing. Please continue to understand that they are here with us and they are continuing to make policy and set guidance to help us get through this season. Also, I want to let you know that we have a bit of good news as well. On this week, we found out that all three, actually all four ent entities of our district, the middle school, the high school, the elementary, and the entire district, received our full accreditation from COVID. That accreditation is good for five years. That is proof that we are doing great things here in Terrell County Schools. So to all of our community stakeholders, all of our employees, you made that happen. So congratulations to us all. So a bit of good news in this season of the pandemic. I also want to inform individuals that on yesterday, the North Carolina State School Board met, well actually, yes, the North Carolina State Board of Education met and provided additional guidance on our grading practices for the remainder of the school year. We will be placing that information on our website and our social media platforms for you all parents and community stakeholders to review. Also, as we have now as a district, been working through a couple of confirmed cases in our county. I want to assure you that as your superintendent, I am continuing to work with local officials and state officials as we work and maintain the safety and security of all of our employees. I understand that in communities you can and sometimes get caught up in hearsay and rumors, but I just caution everyone from not playing into that game. Please understand that we are doing what we can and we will continue to do what we can to ensure the safety, as I stated, of all individuals. Also on this evening, I would like to inform you that as our lives have changed, many of us are working remotely. Many of us are trying to balance a work and professional, uh, professional and personal life balance now that COVID-19 has shut down many, much of our industries. We know that this is a challenging time for some and actually for many, but please understand that we will get through this. As our ways of lives have changed, we will continue to have to make changes to our educational system. We will be working and we have been working for the last month almost on how to implement different things uh, to maintain some stability to our school system. One of those major obstacles is graduation. I know that there are several conversations taking place. I know that Mr. Ziegler and his team at the school are working to come up with several scenarios. I can assure you that we will make the best decision that is needed to ensure the safety and security of all of our students, our graduating seniors, and our community in regards to any school functions as we move forward. And with that being said, please continue to reach out Please continue to email us if you have any questions, but I also encourage you to make sure that you stay safe and continue to practice social distancing and understand and know that Terrell County Schools is stronger than COVID-19. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of 60 Seconds with the Super.